the squeakiest chair in the world. <laughs> well, they say he's not coming back and nothing can fill the void, but at least we can try with food. I'll make some apple pie, come on in. It's Dead Dad's Kitchen. Hi, my name is Irene Walton. You guys are used to seeing me talk about my dead dad and cook the stuff he makes. Most of the time, sometimes it's not the stuff he made. You wanted a Q&A. You wanted me to answer some questions that you had and I'm baffled that people wanna know about me. I'm honored and I'm excited and I am gonna answer some of your questions. So we're just gonna get right into it. I also said ask me anything, which I very much mean. As my friends know, I'm very much an open book. So I'll be answering all the questions you guys ask, but not all the repeated ones because that'd be annoying. Oh. Okay, the first one's from Anna X. She said, what's something you've tried to bake again and again but have failed? That's a great question. I really love scones like a lot, a lot. I can't get it right. I've tried recipes from Bon Appetit. I've tried recipes from America's Test Kitchen. I've tried recipes from Tasty. I've tried recipes from Ina Garden. Like, I've tried so many different scone recipes and I can't get it right. And they're all like different methods and I just can't do it. I mean, I'm gonna keep trying because like I love me a scone, but I can't. Get it right. What weird food combination do you like? That's a good question too. I'm gonna say that every single time. There's gonna be somebody I'm like, this is a terrible question. Weird food combination. Um, I guess this one's not weird, but pretzels and lemonade, I think taste amazing together. And I love Smucker's grape jam on saltine crackers. Me and Gabby eat that a lot. And that's a big thing. Favorite makeup products. I love this question. <laughs> I really like makeup. Clearly throw a bunch of it on my face all the time. My favorite makeup products, just like off the top, my top five are probably Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, and changing the color depending on what hair color I have, because I'm different. I love Morphe eyeshadows, some Morphe liquid lips. I really like Jeffree Star Red Rum Liquid Lip. That's the uh, red I usually, like that's the only red I wear. Oh, I really like Becca Cosmetics Highlighter. I, that's what I'm wearing right now. And a lot of people want a makeup tutorial, which is baffling to me, but like if you guys actually really want that, like I'll do it. I do the same every day, so like, great. Who is a dream guest that I'd like to have on a Dead Dad's Kitchen episode? My like dream, dream, dream guest is Trixie Mattel. She's my favorite drag queen and she's this incredibly like well-spoken, incredible incredible, just amazing person. And she's a really wonderful like folk singer and has also gone through a lot of hard times. And so having her on the show would be my ultimate dream. Cats or dogs? Both. What's your reaction to Gabby's ETN e death? Like I watched the episode she's on, I was sad when she died, obviously. What really inspired your channel? <laughs> my dad dying, of course. <laughs> but actually like that, my dad died years and years ago and I didn't come up with the channel until uh, a couple months ago. Honestly, what inspired me was I, am lucky enough to be around a lot of incredibly talented, incredibly creative people. So Gabby showed me that like, this could be a job and this could be your career. I have a lot of really good support from my friends. My friend Juliet, she like was ready to write a theme song. My friend AJ like films every episode. Like I have all of these incredible people that are like around me supporting me. And finally I was like, why am I wasting this gift of friendship that I am lucky enough to have and not doing something with it? I rallied them all together and uh, now I owe them all a lot of money <laughs> one day. <laughs> Will you give a name to your fans? I don't know. You guys come up with this, it's not my job. What's your favorite childhood memory and or least favorite? I really, really cherish the memories of us like all sitting around the dinner table and getting deep dinner together. My least favorite is when my dad died. So, easy. Oh, what's my favorite animal? My favorite animal, I love sloths. But then when everybody started to like sloths, it was like, I don't like sloths that much anymore, even though I do. But I really love bats and I really love platypuses. Ooh, this is sweet. What's your advice for someone who's trying to learn self-love and better themselves? Love you, love you too, Cameron Cleaver. Great name. Just like find the things that you actually like about yourself and just accentuate those. Like I, I'm the first person to like let everybody know I'm super insecure about a lot of things, but I also like, I really like that I'm friendly and outgoing. So I try to like amp those up, not in like a fake way, but just in like, this makes me confident and makes me feel good. So just pick one or two things that you like about your personality and one or two things that you like about the way you look just accentuate those and then the rest will come just out of faking that you have it. Oh, oh, what does love look like to me? Thank you for asking. Depends, there's a lot of different kinds of love. There's platonic love, there's romantic love, there's familial love, but I think love is just supporting people. I, I'm, again, I'm incredibly lucky and I don't really use this word much, but I'm very blessed to have a bunch of people who support me and give a 
and like want to help. So I feel very loved and that's how I like to give love back is by supporting the people around me, which is not hard because everybody is great. I found out that I just don't hang out with people. So it's pretty easy. Are you hydrated? Yes. Thank you for asking. I'm not hungover today, which is a rare occurrence. What's your favorite comedy film? Probably Young Frankenstein. What made you so supportive and encouraging? Born that way or life experiences? I think I'm so supportive and encouraging because the people I'm around are great. Like everybody that's doing their thing is doing a really good job at it. So it's not hard to be encouraging when somebody is already killing it. You just like are noticing how good they are at something. So, but my parents were always super cool and like encouraging and you know, really, proud of us and everything. So I guess it was sort of born that way and sort of life experience. What's my favorite memory with Gabby? A lot of Gabby questions. So I might just do a whole video with Gabby about this. My favorite memory with Gabby, my ex, my now ex, we broke up. I like ran crying to her house because we used to be neighbors. She just like made me laugh and made me kind of feel better about stuff, which is sort of, I mean, I guess that's sort of a theme in my life is that <laughs> very traumatic experiences are my favorite memories, <laughs> apparently. What's my favorite thing to cook of my dad's recipes? Probably spaghetti and meatballs. I think that's like kind of quintessential Frank. So it makes me feel good when I get to make it. How did you get over losing your dad? I didn't and I never will. What's one thing you wish you could perfect but haven't yet? Ice cream. I really like making ice cream, but it's very hard to make perfect. And that was kind of like my, gonna be my summer goal. But since it stays so fucking hot in Los Angeles, it'll probably just like go on until October. What's my favorite TV show or movie? My favorite TV show like of all time is Simpsons. My favorite movie of all time is Pulp Fiction. What's some dating advice? <laughs> Bad person to ask. <laughs> be super honest. And I know that that's like super like obvious you would think, but if you're like not interested in somebody who's interested in you, tell them that because it's much to find out that th that person A is not interested in person B. It's much person B for to have this person like not talk to them and like leave them on red and all these things instead of just being like, hey, I'm super flattered that you're interested in me. Unfortunately, I don't feel the same way about you. Well, maybe don't say unfortunately. <laughs> if you let them know that you're flattered by, you know, their adoration or their ask out or whatever, but that you're not interested, like that's way better because then they can move on and you can live your own life and not worry about somebody else. What's my natural hair color? Not this, uh, like brown. It's a level, I think seven for all you hairdressers out there. That's what Guy Tang told me. What's the best advice you can give somebody who's gonna be a senior in high school? I had a great, <laughs> I was gonna say I had a great senior year. My dad died the first two weeks. Okay, so here's the thing. When, <laughs> when somebody dies, you uh, like kind of really see the people who are really there for you. And it turns out that my whole high school was very much there for me and was very sweet and very kind. So I think that having this outpour of love in the beginning of my high school, my senior year of high school, kind of set me up for a really good year. Granted, I don't want your parent to die <laughs> for you to have this happen. I guess my best advice would just be, I don't want to say be yourself, but like kind of a little, right? I mean, I like, uh, like be yourself. And if you don't like yourself, change it. That's fucking motivation was hell, bitch. Oh, that was bad. There we go. Why is your best friend slash roommate so great? I don't know, Christy, but I'm very lucky to have you and I love you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I like that. Will you kiss me, Ariana? Yes, I'll kiss you, of course. These are all from my friend, uh, AJ from DC. She was on NBC's Bring the Funny, so make sure you watch it. How do you slay brows by not having any and having to paint them on my face every day? Why'd you move away from DC and leave me? Cause I missed LA baby and LA misses you too. What's your career advice? How did you break out and do your own content? My career advice is just pick a thing you love and do it differently than other people are doing it. Actually believe in it, make it a thing that you would want to see. Like that you would like to see in the world, make that thing. I think that's really cool advice. I think my advice is really cool. Who films all your episodes? Is he cute? My very good friend AJ films all my episodes Hi. and he is very cute. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Not many people would like take so much time out of their day to help a friend. So AJ is very cute in many ways. Be truthful. Are you and Gabby actually dating? No. <laughs> Best friend, like I don't, it's so baffling to me that nobody's ever had any affection in a friendship. They think that because I like kiss Gabby on the cheek and like give her a hug, they're like, cheek? Yeah, yeah, it is a little risque. What's my favorite dessert? Honestly, it's a warm chocolate chip cookie. I think about this a lot. Chocolate chip cookies and what my favorite dessert. <laughs> like a f***ing pizookie from BJ's. Coffee or tea, B? Tea. Coffee makes me feel like I'm on cocaine. What kind of lashes do you use? They're amazing. Oh my God, thank you. I use House of Lashes Allura or Allura Light. They are my favorite. They also have the best lash glue. Do you like dream catchers? By the way, I love you so much. Oh, I love you too. 
<laughs> I don't have dream catchers. <laughs> I don't have anything against them. I really like these things. They're called sun catchers from uh, Rainbow Symphony. They do very cool. They like, I mean, they catch the sun. They like project prisms onto your wall. It's so sick. There's a picture of it right here. Sponsor me someone. What's one thing people would never know about you just by looking at you? That I have very aggressive OCD. Have a lot of just like obsessive thoughts that are super annoying and I have like, I guess you could call them ticks that you do. I mean a struggle, but like everybody's got something. But yeah, that's probably the thing that nobody would think about when just upon like seeing me because I try to kind of keep it low key, not because I'm like self-conscious about it, just because like I don't love it. So I don't really sh show it much. And then what's something less serious that nobody would know? I don't like Thai food. You don't have any furniture. Oh yeah, I don't have any furniture. <laughs> I have a chair and that's it. What's a dish recipe that you can never seem to get right? I told you already, scones. How did me and Gabby become friends? Gabby and I became friends on the set of her Honestly music video shoot. We had met once or twice before then, but we really kind of like got a good friendship going then. I just worked on it and built it and now just one of my best friends. Did you go to college? If so, what did you study? I did go to college. Thank you for asking. I do have a degree, but I don't know where it is. My mom probably has it actually. Not hanging. She just has it in a box. I studied communications, which was like a very kind of easy thing to study. And uh, I thought it would be an easy thing to say, I studied communications so I can, you know, do marketing and I can do this and I can do that. And it hasn't helped me at all. What's your Zodiac. Uh, I'm a Leo. <laughs> Everyone's like, we know. <laughs> Why don't you just open a cafe or something, you talented bean? I would fly over just for it. Love you, by the way. Oh, thanks. I don't want to open a cafe or anything just because I'm not, I like, I can't imagine running a business. I think I would be terrible at that, so. <laughs> but I'll cook it one. How was my high school experience? I love my high school experience. I went to a really cool high school where a lot of people were just chill with each other. There wasn't a whole lot of bullying. There wasn't a whole lot of fighting. There wasn't a whole bunch of anything. Everyone was kind of just like, Come see, come saw, chill. I love my high school experience. Which I know a lot of people don't, so I'm probably not relatable anymore. <laughs> How did you create and put together your intro and create the song? When I reached out to AJ, to try and figure out how to film stuff. He came up with like a guitar riff and then I sent that to my best friend Juliet and she wrote this theme song. She was like, I don't know, what are some things you want it to say? Like, what's the message you want to get across? I was like, I don't know, this, this and that. And she was like, okay. And then I, no bull like 10 minutes later, she sent me back the finished song. She's so talented. You can find her stuff right here. If you could cook with any professional chef, who would it be? Probably Alton Brown or Christina Tosi. How are you so unapologetically yourself? Why can't I do it today? It's fine. Uh, any advice on confidence? Yes, I am myself because I work hard to be a person that I would like. It's easy to be lazy, it's easy to cancel on friends, it's easy to not go out of your way to do something nice. I work pretty hard, and not that I do it all the time, there are a lot of times where I do those <laughs> three things. But like I work really hard to make sure that I'm a friend that I would wanna have, that I'm a person I would wanna see in the world. If you see somebody do something nice, do that thing another time, and then that's how it spreads. And confidence, just like, you just have to like yourself, so kind of like what I was saying earlier, find a thing you like about yourself, accentuate that thing. And I'm not saying like, being like loud and boisterous and like me is like the best way to be because it's not <laughs> for some people. Like some people are just more shy and quiet and reserved and like save their words for when it really matters. And I think that that's a really beautiful thing too. So like just find the unique thing about you and make that the special thing about you. If you could be an expert in anything instantly matrix style, what and why? Ooh, I'd want to be an expert in geology. Picking winning lottery. <laughs> <laughs> no, that one, I want that one. I would love to be an expert at cars. Cars would be a very cool thing to know about. I could just like fix a car. Cars. What's something about you that you struggle with? <laughs> P.S. I love you. That movie, sad. No, I think I'm kind of annoying sometimes. <laughs> I think I should just chill a little bit. <laughs> How do you keep my hair so good? I don't know. I shampoo and condition it. How do you find the right friends? How do you know? That's a really good question and something I've struggled with. A lot of my very close friends I've had for a very long time. I've known AJ for 12 years. I've known Christy for 13 years. I've known Juliet for 10 years. And then a lot of those good people that you keep around in your life will bring you other good people. You know if somebody's a good person if you don't have to change yourself around them. What made you start YouTube? Anyone influence you, etc.? Yeah, a bunch of people influence me. YouTubers and non-YouTubers. Gabby's obviously a big influence on me. Binging with Babish is a big influence. Bo Burnham is a big influence. These are all people that I look up to that have 
had like YouTube careers and do things with that. But in my own personal circle, my friend AJ again, uh, you're a big, huge influence on me. My family, my friend Christy, my friend Juliet. I have a lot of wonderful people who have never made me feel like I couldn't do some things. It was a pretty easy like jump into it. How do you always keep a positive attitude? Cause it's so annoying and stressful to be negative. <laughs> it takes so much more energy to be like, oh, this is gonna suck. And of course, like I have days like that, obviously, but it's, to me, it's just easier and more fun to be positive. And also like when shitty stuff happens to you, you realize that like there's a lot more to worry about than like, oh, this person's late. I'm gonna be really mad about it. Dating life, Sarah, I date. I like dating, it's fun. I'm single right now. Why did you decide to make a cooking channel other than making a normal channel? Cause I love food and my dad cooked and it was like a easy little segue. What's your age? 25, as of two weeks ago or whenever this comes out. <laughs> that many weeks ago. Are you LGBTQ plus? No, I am not personally part of the LGBTQ community, but I am the A at the end of that. I am an ally for sure. Did you have any pets growing up? Frank sounds like a guy who'd pretend to hate the family cat. That's exactly what happened. Um, we had a cat that kind of adopted us. It just started coming over to our house and my dad like pretended to not like it. I do think he didn't like it for quite some time. Then he like fell in love with the cat. But I had like lizards and stuff growing up. A lot of low, ma a lot of low maintenance pets. And then when my dad died, I got another kitten that I brought home from my high school and my mom was like kind of pissed about it, but then it ended up being great. Uh, and then they both died, so. <laughs> what would you want the last meal of your life to be if it could be anything? Probably like really good sushi and really good pizza. Some ice cream, a pizuki. <laughs> Yo, that's my last meal. If you died and could be reincarnated as any object, what would you choose? Cause like you'd want to get reincarnated as like a Labrador puppy. Cause everybody loves you and gives you attention. If I could be reincarnated as any object, probably like, a well-loved couch. Because then everybody's excited to see you. <laughs> right? When you make a vegan recipe, I mean, if it happens to be vegan, sure, but like, I will never tout myself as like a vegan cook or like a vegan baker because I'm not well-versed in it at all. So like, if something is vegan, cool, or if I try something vegan, for sure, but I'm not like gonna be making vegan stuff. What's your story? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> My story is I was born, raised, and Los Angeles and I have always been very outgoing and I love my family a lot. I love my friends a lot. I grew up, went to school, did pretty well. <laughs> Thank you for asking. I started cooking, my dad died, uh, and now I'm here <laughs> answering this question. That's kind of it for the Q&A. There are a lot of questions about how I do my makeup and a lot of questions about food and stuff. So maybe I'll do like specific Q and A's to that if that's something y'all would like. Gabby and I are gonna have to do some sort of tag because there were a lot of questions about that. But aside from that, thank you guys so much for asking. This was so like fun and cool to see what you guys wanted to learn about. I really liked answering them. So if you wanna keep doing this, you let me know. Like and comment, subscribe, share this if you think that other people wanna know about me. And yeah, thanks so much. And I love you guys and I will see you later. She's asleep. That right butt cheek, baby.